Hey there, in this episode, I'm just going to have a quick run through of what I take out when I go shooting. Um, I have had a number of different things over the years in and out of the bag, but these seem to be the ones that will stay in there. So um, what I'll do is I'll just go through them quickly. Um, this is a great little tool, um, really versatile. It's this mini axe, um, good weight to it. Um, and what's really cool, I got this for um, two things. One, just hide building things of that nature, but also for uh, gutting rabbits. Um, because in the back of here, it has a really handy little knife, um, really sharp, lovely little shape to it, gets in the rabbit quite easily uh, for paunching. Um, and then if you are skinning out in the field, but you want to take the legs off, um, then you can easily do that without risking any of your nice knives or blades. Um, with the ad added weight of this axe. Um, pretty lightweight as well. Um, so that goes um, into the bag. Then up on that, I have knife sharpener, Lansky. Always have that with me. Followed by um, some gloves. Keep all the muck and dirt off when I'm doing the old gutting. Batteries. Batteries are great. Keep your light moving in the torch, which is a simple T20 torch. And then I have a spare folding knife here, which is my Gerber Gator, which is a great knife. And then I also have them, when I'm going night shooting, this beanie, um, which you've probably seen other guys wearing. Um, it's like eight pounds or something like that. Absolutely brilliant value for money. A uh, great billy kit. And it uh, really does uh, light up exactly what you need. It's not too bright. It's got a couple of different settings on it. Um, and then I have, both night and day shooting, I have these mechanics gloves, concealment, warmth, not too thick either, um, and really well made. I haven't really ripped or anything like that, which is good, it's been for about three years. And then I have, last but not least, these are a little bit bigger, these targets, but um, I normally have a couple of little shoot and see targets, just in case I need a little zero check um, when I'm out and about, um, or at the beginning of the session. And all of this, goes into this bag over here and I've tried many bags uh, and this is cheapest chips 13 quid from Mountain Warehouse uh, seat bag combo unbelievable it's insulated in the main compartment uh, it's lasted over 18 months um, I'm 120 kilos which in old money is about 18 and a half stone um, so it has had a bit of stress and all of this in this that you've seen here fit straight in there no problem uh, it's lightweight compact um, and allows me then to have hands-free for other gear um, as opposed to having a separate seat um, away from the bag but it'd be interesting to find out what you guys carry and whether you think I'm carrying too much or too little uh, what are your favorite brands and tools and things like that I mean this is a mountain warehouse it's no branded shooting equipment and it does the job so where where do you stand on using things from much more expensive brands and i suppose it, it's to do with the type of shooting that you're after as well i mean i'm out doing pest control rabbits things like that but i was doing deer scort deer stalking or other types of shooting which were um, a lot more arduous then the kit level might have to go up but as i said it'd be great to hear what you guys think like and subscribe if you've uh, got this far and uh, I hope you share this video and I'll um, keep doing some other content for you. Cheers guys, bye.